So I showed you a little bit of introducing you to the sun in the last couple of videos here. And I'd like to just again go back to the sun in question 19. And that why do we always draw the sun like this? I'm proposing we should do more something like this, a mad sun. And why is that? Well, you can start getting feeling, get a feeling for a couple of the reasons now. So I already mentioned that how many nuclear bomb equivalents are going off inside the sun. Uh, we mentioned some things about protons and neutrons, although these things aren't by definition harmful, but they certainly are um, in some ways when they're ex when humans get exposed to them. Okay, and some other things you know about the sun, you probably know a little bit about UV light and how that can lead to skin cancer. Okay, all of these things come from the sun. And the fourth thing about the sun is, you know, even though it's sort of our star and in our sky, you can't look at it. It's just too bright. So sort of this, this star that we've been given and we all live under, but we can't even look at it. And so now that leads me to go to, to talk about the, uh, the country of Australia and some of the issues they have with this issue of UV light. I just wanted to show you this document here. It comes from the Australian government, as you can tell here, and it talks about the ozone layer. Okay, so the first thing is, what is the ozone layer? Well, ozone is a naturally occurring molecule made up of three oxygen atoms. So you're probably used to oxygen being labeled as O2. Well, ozone is O3. Okay, and so there's a layer of ozone uh, very high in the atmosphere, up to 30 kilometers above the Earth's surface. And it absorbs this UVB, or harmful UV radiation, from the sun. That's what ozone does. So it definitely protects living organisms on the Earth from UV light. Um, is UV radiation bad? Well, yes, it is. They, we know that prolonged radi exposure to UVB, sort of this band of UV radiation, can be linked to skin cancer, genetic damage, and immune system problems in humans. And so you may know this from other classes that you took it doesn't come up with the news in the news very often but it turns out there's actually a hole in the ozone layer a hole and so I have a little trouble with my video here at the moment okay I'm back a hole in the ozone layer so it turns out that some chemicals that we used to make um, sound makers and primarily air conditioning chemicals that were used in air conditioners in cars and so on uh, a while back when they were used on Earth, things would sort of leak up into the ozone and destroy the ozone. So chemicals containing chlorine and bromine, here you go, chemicals containing chlorine and bromine, were released in the atmosphere and they would combine with the ozone layer and destroy it. And so remember, we're, so chemicals that we made on Earth sort of destroyed this layer of the Earth that saved us from, or helps protect us from, the harmful UV radiation from the sun. Uh, and so what they've noticed then is that they started studying this a while ago by launching balloons and things up into the ozone layer in the upper stratosphere there. And here's what they noticed. In 1971, things were sort of going okay. But then what happened is the ozone started to sort of drop in the ozone layer. And it led to this huge hole here that was kind of over the South Pole of the United, of, of the South Pole, not of the United States, the, the South Pole, which is over the Southern Hemisphere, so the South Pole, way down south there. So since then, these chemicals have been banned and they're not used as much anymore, so the ozone hole is improving, I understand, but it's still there, and so if you ever happen to go down to Australia, they are very, very concerned about sun exposure down there for this so-called happy sun that we keep drawing. And so let me just show you a public service video that they make to inform the public about what you should do if you go outside in Australia, just on any old given day. Nothing special, just some day where you want to go outside. Your backyard, your neighborhood, the beach, hiking, whatever. Here's what you should do. Slip, slop, slap, seek and slide. Have fun outside, but don't get fried. Slip on a shirt, slop on sunscreen. Slap on a hat, six shade. Slide on sunnies, simple as that. Slip, slop, slap, seek and slide. Have fun outside, but don't get fried. Slip, slop, slap, seek and slide.